Hello, everyone. Yes, on the mat again this on week. The mat. Yes, and, and yeah. we are sharing one screen. Yes. Why is that? Well, John? we have um, uh, quite a big lineup of uh, people that will be coming on the mat oh. um, for our session today, and it's going to be exciting. So many people. We'll see how many okay. we can bring on, and we'll fit this mat because, right. uh, yeah, the we'll island see. mat is always big enough I to think so. yes. accompany many that's, people. That's true. Yeah. That's true. So um, we'll see how it goes today. But I'm very excited. And uh, privileged to um, to bring on first on the mat, yes, the Trans Pacific Union President, Pastor Maveni Kalfononga, oh, our boss. Yes, our boss. So, <laughs> Pastor Maveni will share with us as well a bit about the program today. Okay. Hey, Pastor Maveni, Bulabinaka, oh. welcome to oh. another series of On the Mat. Thank you very much. Thank you, mm. Pastor. Tell us. Um, what is this uh, uh, This series is about? What this series is about? This is about the internship program that we are running in our church. And for the past two days, we have been uh, doing a, a training for our interns and their supervisors. And uh, we want to just highlight what is this program is all about? What is this training is all about? How does it connect with the work of our church? So this is about our internship program okay for those of our viewers who do not um understand the interns this is just our newly graduate pastors who have graduated either from fulton college pau avondale mm -hmm. um that are now on the field as ministers and this is their first years second mm -hmm. and third summer second third and mm -hmm. this is their training am i right yes. pastor yes that's very training. very correct Wow, internship training via Zoom. How are you guys doing that? How did it go this year, Pastor, with uh, using yeah. Zoom? It for me, and I I will have to be corrected when us come in and share their views on how it went. But for myself, it went really well. Uh, this is a program for our church that, uh, like what Mary said, this is targeting the our newly pastors entering the ministry from our colleges. Mm -hmm. This is to do with their first two years in the ministry. And every okay. time they, they started off, we will train them and show them what is this internship program is all about. And uh, if I can just share a little bit about this internship program. Internship program yes. it is really to highlight the value that we put on our pastors in uh, that they are of highly important in our church. We are not collecting and look after our churches. This is to do with looking after God's church and is right. dealing with people's life, not just in this world here, but dealing with their life eternal. So it is something that is very important to us. That even though they graduated with degrees from mm. our, our universities, they're coming into the field. Our, this program here, our church is matching what they uh, they have learned from the college and what is the reality out there in the field. Right. So this program right. is for two years where okay. we met them up with some experienced pastors one-on-one yes. -on -one to be their mm -hmm. supervisor. And the program have already outlined their, you know, their plan for the first year. What are yeah. they supposed to do? Uh, mentoring this person here, their plan, and how do we monitor it and evaluate it? And wow. our intents, they have to pass it before they ah. will be employed as a full minister. So ah. their first year, after the first year, we will evaluate it and see, okay, this person is passed on to the second year. And uh, coming to the second year, if they do pass it, then we yes. said, okay, this person, there is great commitment. There is evidence here that this person has been called by God to serve as a pastor. And if mm. ever they don't pass it, we'll say, sorry, I'm sure there is another call for you to go and uh, be part of. So mm. that's basically what this training was about. Uh, right. Training our intents so that intents or workers so they know exactly what is expected of them. And mm -hmm. the good thing that, that uh, COVID-19, we usually get them to come here yes. to preach. Yes. Yes. Yeah. But because uh, COVID-19 have closed that for us, we are doing it via Zoom. 
and because they are just attending it from their home and from yeah. their changes, we are able to get their supervisors to be together with them. Ah. So we are all on right. the same page with this That's training. Really good. That's the thing that I, I reckon that this training was very successful because That's both uh, Indians and their supervisor were together mm. listening to this training and knowing what this program is all about. And, and to have them together before, that never happened. No, it, it was only we, able yeah. because of uh, it's yeah. done via Zoom. Yes, yeah, it's amazing, I mean, John, that you know you have three years of theology study. Is that correct? Yeah, three yeah. Years or four of for degree. Or four years for degree. Then you have an extra two years to uh, do your yeah. intern. You know, yeah. God's business is is not a business where you can just serious you know, business. Yeah, it is yes, serious. It's business. of the highest calling. So to have the church have a, a, an organized system yep. and to make mm -hmm. sure that these uh, uh, shepherds are well looked after, are well men trained, mentored, mentored, trained. Yes, you know, it's a brilliant program, yes. and we praise the Lord for that. Praise yes, the Lord for that. Pastor, who do you uh, have uh, first up that we could uh, talk with and interview? I want to call in the president for American uh, Mission, so, so, uh, sorry, American Samoa Mission. Okay. He, Pastor Kenneth Fuliese uh, used to be a lecturer at, uh, at Fulton. And right. in Alpha, he was the uh, president of Samoa Tokelau Mission before he is now the president of, uh, of uh, American Samoa. And okay. uh, we look at this here. Being a presenter in this uh, Zoom meeting, how is it like to to do training via Zoom? And I think it okay. Was... Talofa, Pastor Kenneth. Hello, Pastor. Talofa, and uh, what was it? Thank you for joining us on the net. Yeah, it's a privilege to be here, and thank you for having me. Dinaka. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, how how um, according to uh, what pa Pastor Maveni has shared, uh, you being a mentor and also a trainer in this facility, how how has uh, how has it been for you, and how do you see it, especially with uh, using Zoom and the new technology? Yeah, yeah, very exciting, and I must say it's it's a new ball game altogether. I mean, mm -hmm. it's it's a it's a big shift from being in a classroom where you have this face-to-face uh, -face mode with, yeah. with the students or with the participant. But right. doing it on Zoom, uh, where you know the rest of the participants are from in their own comfort zone of their room yes. or wherever, uh, yeah, there, are, there are challenges. But right. at the same time, there are some um, you know, uh, opportunities as well uh, to be explored. And I think I, I need to say that giving with uh, the current situation that we have at the moment with the lockdown and everything that's happening mm -hmm. because of COVID-19, I would say that this is the best way forward. This is the space mm -hmm. that we need to tap in and, and utilize so that we may be able to connect. Right. Yes, the, the world yeah. may cease to function in, in a normal way, so to speak, but the gospel... Mm -hmm. Does it need to be, you know, stop or the training? Does Amen. it need to be? Mm. It, Amen. And this is this is the platform, this is the way. And I must also say, it saves the church cost the money as well. I mean, yes, I, that's I know, true. You know, wise, we don't have to bring everybody here uh, to Fiji where it used to be yeah. the center for mm -hmm. training. And so, mm -hmm. while we capitalize on the opportunity to connect, to provide yes. training. Uh, at the same time, it saves the church some money as well. Um, but I, 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 I would not uh, uh, also deny the fact that there are some difficulties. Uh, yeah. That is to some try. Challenges. Yes. Uh, knowing where everybody is on board with you, uh, mm -hmm. whether they're following or whether you are on your own uh, without everybody, you know, participating. And I think... Uh, I learned something today uh, from a yes. couple of our, of our presenters, in particular, mm. um, you know, um, Pasa Rice from the division. Right. The way he, he the way he used the Zoom and have mm -hmm. courses in to provide questions 
and how he utilized the chat and everything to make mm. sure that everybody is on board and are participating. Yes. So I'm, 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 I'm sure when we capitalize on the usage of this uh, nowadays technology, uh, we mm -hmm. can still make the gospel effective and still be in, in contact Amen. with our people and, and, and continue the training. And, and, and I must uh, thank Pastor Maveni and the union for the initiative and the mm -hmm. privilege me to be part of this training. Uh, the little that I contribute, I hope that the Lord will continue to bless as mm -hmm. we utilize these mediums that is available for us to enhance the gospel. Yeah, so um, that would be my two two cents worth of the conversation. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thank you so much. That's a wealth of knowledge and uh, experience that uh, you bring to the to the mat, and uh, also to our young pastors that are training and uh, developing in their role. Yeah, uh, Pastor, it was a you joy. Had a, yes. Sorry. You, you mentioned uh, Dr. Lee Rice was uh, one of the presenters. How many presenters did you, uh, uh, that was part of the training and how many uh, interns were also part of the training? Would you well, I can comment on, uh, yes, sorry. I'll, I, I can answer that question. There were 29 uh, interns workers from yeah. all around our, uh, our union, the Pacific Islands. And our speakers uh, were from, uh, from here in Fiji, we have one from the Solomon Islands, uh, we have uh, from uh, Samoa, we have presenters from uh, New Zealand and, uh, and Australia, and we even have the president for China, China Union Conference. Wow. So we have speakers from around Pastor the world. Bloomberg? Is that right? Yes. Yes. Ah. Pastor oh, Pastor oh praise the Lord. Yes. Speakers. Because I remember it, it's it's usually just one presenter for throughout the whole training when we come together. But now you mm. you know more opportunities, more people, more uh, leaders. Another involved. advantage of using uh, Zoom, Technology. I guess. Yes. Yeah. Very true. And I was going to say that that's one of the experience I've also encountered mm. in this way of doing it. That it, mm. the depth of presenters that we have uh, yes. that we are able to be involved in in this particular mm. training. And, and at the same time, able to see so many faces <laughs> meeting mm -hmm. up with so very many true. people from very different mm -hmm. scope, you know, or, or mm -hmm. region where they are serving the Lord. Mm -hmm. ah, thank you so much, Pastor Kenneth. Mm -hmm. for your, thank you for uh, having me. <laughs> yes. Is, yeah. Are you still in a Samoa or are you in American uh, Samoa mission? Yes, I'm still in, 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 in Samoa. And uh, still hoping that uh, an opportunity will come for us to finally go over here yeah, and settle uh, yeah, and, 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 and serve the Lord in, in our new post. Very exciting. The family are also looking for it to go. Yes. But, uh, yes. So we can't help. <laughs> I guess in the meantime, you are just working via Zoom. So you <laughs> should be familiar with uh... <laughs> yeah. I, I think. Well, thank you, Pastor, for joining us thank on the map. We'll continue to pray for you and your family. Pass our regards to your lovely wife, Linda, and your children. And uh, we hope to see you sometimes on the mat as well. Yes. Mm. It will be a privilege. It will be a privilege. And thank you. God bless. Thank God you. God bless. Ah, Pastor, yeah, pretty interesting. good. Interesting. You have a vast uh, leaders, presenters, mm -hmm. intern training. Pastor, who do you have? Uh, uh, who do you want to invite on the mat? You want to speak with one of those interns that were part of uh, the training. We might as well just bring while we are in American Samoa, we bring in Justin, one of okay. our interns because from uh, American Samoa, uh -huh. to see whether he did learn something from this training. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Justin. Hello, 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 everyone. Happy to be here. Thank you. That's great. That's great. So yeah, um, basically, uh, Pastor Maveni was uh, reaching out and asking uh, if you can share uh, maybe just a highlight of what you actually learned through the two-day training. Yes. Now we test whether you're listening or not. <laughs> yeah. If you put it that way, uh, I've, you got me nervous now because uh, with with all the pressure. But um, uh, to to give uh, something of what I've learned so far from our intern 
it's not an easy task to do because um, there's quite a lot of uh, things that we've learned mm. uh, so far as we were part of this intern uh, mm -hmm. program because um, just the, the, the number of, uh, of speakers that were able to, to present for us was mm. just tremendous and uh, it gave us a lot of insight um, to how we are supposed to go about into doing our ministries um, mm -hmm. at our various places, obviously using our various contexts. Mm -hmm. So um, one of um, the, the biggest thing that uh, I learned, which was one of the first things that I learned, was um, how they changed our view on how we see our ministry. I because see. Uh, they started off with uh, informing us that there are people that join ministry because they have nothing else to do. Or uh, perhaps it's, uh, it's their last option of, mm. of to become pastors. Mm -hmm, but mm -hmm. uh, they stated that this is the only uh, program or the only job or calling where you can boldly state that um, I can present God. Amen. And, uh, Amen. With that statement in mind, it just gives us a, an overview and a, an understanding of just how big and just how vast the um, the opportunity that we have been given to be yes. part of the ministry. And um, mm. those are um, those are some things that um, something that uh, it started started um, it gave me the, an opening insight. To this program, and there's just so, uh, so much more on how, because uh, we were taught on uh, different uh, type topics, on uh, mm -hmm. discipleship, and um, how we go about with our internship, and um, even the authority of where we bring our authority from when we are to yeah. uh, to not only to to give authority but to practice the authority of the, that we are given. And um, these mm -hmm. are some of the things that we were taught. Um, mm -hmm. That we were taught um, by, uh, by our uh, our teachers um, during this program. Mm -hmm. But um, when it comes to the um, to just being blessed, um, yes, uh, biblically, it, it was yeah. the, it was the morning devotions and the worships that ah, that really, good. really got us because it was yeah. uh, Doctor Edward and Doctor Robert. That uh, yeah. we had the opportunity to listen to, and um, they really changed not just our worldviews on how to go about in our ministries, but they mm -hmm. really gave us um, a lot of blessings that we can carry with us as we enter into ministry this year. Thank you. That's great. That's yes. great. Wow, Pastor Marvin, I think uh, you know if he, he was if there was a test or evaluation, we'll give Justin hundred percent for. <laughs> For being attentive during the session, I'm actually you know writing what, down the marks here with with me. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what, John? Uh, for Justin, I actually grew up with him at uh, the old Fulton. Okay, okay. And uh, I can, uh, I'm not, I'm not uh, trying to be on uh, someone's side, but I can vouch for what he said. And that was the first thing you said, um, Justin. Um, where sometimes some people choose theology as the last option. Mm. Now, Justin in Form 6, he had good results in the science. He was a science student. Okay, okay. And I thought he would go that way. But then he wanted to do theology Amen, in Fulton. I'm like, Amen. Justin, your Amen. science marks are higher. But then, you know, now we can tell that he was genuine in wanting to become uh, a disciple for Jesus Christ. And Amen. I can vouch for that. Thank you, Justin. Thank you, Justin, for sharing and um, for being an inspiration, not only for your colleagues, but also for maybe younger people who younger maybe people choose who to want to become pastors mm -hmm. in the future. Thank you so much. Regards to mom and dad and Joanna. All right. Thank you very much for having me. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Young, Thanks, Rasta. Young minister. Very yeah. interesting and exciting mm -hmm. how you got everyone from the region and uh, yeah. Who do we have next? Uh, one of the young men uh, in this training here that as soon as one presenter is finished, he will write to me and say, Pastor, can I have that presentation? Or he will yeah. always chat on the, the chat line and asking me questions. Pastor, can you help? His name is Louis. 
Brother Louis okay. from Vanuatu. I like you yes. to bring him and uh, see what his intake on uh, this training. Thank you. Hello. Hello, Hello Pastor Hello, Louis. Rebecca. Hello. <laughs> How's my good friend? Hi. You know him, John? <laughs> yes, yes. We um, actually spent some time in Fulton together when he was uh, studying. He was the... Mm -hmm. I think uh, looking after the wing for his uh, dorm. And Wait, what year was this? Well, because I, 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 I know everyone in Fulton. <laughs> I, this was actually just uh, during a camp where I ah. attended. So um, Louis was there and was helping out. Pastor, thank you so much. How thank did you, you enjoy the, the training uh, mm -hmm. over the last two days? Thank you very much. Uh, first of all, I want to thank uh, the union for hosting this uh, intensive uh, training. Mm. Uh, I would say these two days of training, I really enjoyed. I really blessed, especially mm. with uh, new things I I learned. Uh, some of them I I learned in class, but right. I forgot. Just okay. yesterday and today I was reminded. So mm. I'm it's more a good refresher, refresher course. Eh? Yeah, mm. that's great. That's great. What is one highlight maybe that you can share? Uh, for those watching today from this uh, uh, training that you went through. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, yesterday, I learned three important things. Out of everything I learned, there are three things that stands out. Huh? Mm. Uh, yesterday, I was reminded about my duties. Mm. I supposed mm. to do visitation. Amen. Pastoral visitation. Huh? Yes. As an Indian, as a minister, I have to do pastoral right. visitation. I learned yesterday I'm supposed to visit those who are active in the church as well as those who are weak in their faith. So I see. that's my duty which I'm supposed to do yesterday. Mm. The second thing was I, I learned yesterday was I'm supposed to do Bible study, running Bible studies to the church members, yep. to the new converts. Mm -hmm. That's the second mm -hmm. thing I learned yesterday. And I also learned how to, I mean, I, I also learned I'm supposed to do a lot of preaching. <laughs> so if you ask me what I learned throughout the whole day yesterday, there are Amen. three things. Visitation, Bible study, and more preaching. Okay, that Amen. was yesterday. Today, I praise God for the morning devotion this morning by Pastor Eddie Dubai. Okay. I really, okay. I can say out of all the things I learned yesterday and today, that's one thing I really admire, I really love about mm. the person. Amen. He, he mentioned something about retreat. You know, when mm -hmm. he mentioned it today, I, I was sitting and looking at him, listening to him. I thought about it. He said, mm -hmm. when you are in the ministry, make sure you have to initiate, you have to find out time throughout your ministry, move out from your place of work, find mm -hmm. a quiet place. Retreat, mm -hmm. spend time to study the Bible and prayer. So, mm -hmm. out of everything, that's one thing that really stands out today. Um, very true. When I reflect to it, yeah, it's very true. Huh? Mm -hmm. I can mm -hmm. do this, I can do that, but if I don't have a yes. close relationship with my God, especially my Bible study and my prayer life, yes, He said ministry will be will not be successful. So Amen. that's one thing I learned from. Uh, Pastor Eddie Dubai today. Okay, the last mm. thing I learned today, I learned from yes. Dr. Darius. He, mm. he spoke on the authority of the Christian leaders. leaders. Mm -hmm. He did mention Jesus as a good example of a good leader. Okay. He mentioned something, he explained the original meaning of the word uh, seventh. I see. He mentioned when Jesus come down, he come down to the lowest level, he became zero, nothing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that's mm. one thing I really like about today. And he said, pastors must not have authority over the church members, but must have authority yes. over the task that God has given them. So, mm. John, uh, if Amen. you ask me about anything I learned yesterday and today, uh, yes. that's all I learned. I believe it will really help me and not just me, but yes. all my brothers throughout this uh, region that we were Man, training. I you can even do a sermon with what you've uh, learned. Yes. I thought you yeah. were going to do a sermon. I was like, okay, John, that's a sermon. <laughs> yes. Pastor, thank, we, thank you so much. We are blessed. Mm -hmm. And I know we just feel the, the inspiration that uh, you, through your sharing mm -hmm. of how our young pastors have been inspired 
from the various sessions. And thank you for sharing that uh, with us. Yes. Uh, very good reminder. We Past wish you all the best. Pastor Maveni, mm -hmm. would you like to share something? No, no, no. I'm just enjoying listening to him. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> thank, thank you, you Pastor much. Louis. Everyone. Yeah. Take wish care. you all the best in your ministry. Thank you for joining us. Goodbye. Goodbye. Yeah. A very tentative when, person. <laughs> yes. When uh, Dr. Ron did uh, his presentation, he had a couple of presentations, and uh, Dr. Ron always questioned those people who are attending the the training from Tonga. He wasn't sure whether they were awake or they were <laughs> sleeping. So if we can call okay. in the Philalato and uh, see whether yep. they were actually listening or not. <laughs> oh, that's, he's smiling already. I think uh, he he's uh, ready with uh, yes. to answer your question. I'm gonna fill them now. <laughs> malolele, malolele. You have Malo, to be a proud. <laughs> Thank you, Fila. How's things? Yeah, things are going well. Still That's, going great. Still That's great. That's great. Fila, what well. church are you looking after? Um, I'm looking after the Vaini Church. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. Yes. That's a big church. Yeah. 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 I've never been yeah. to Tonga, so I wouldn't know. Yeah. And so, um, what have uh, what was a highlight for you over the last two days of your training, uh, Fila? Oh yeah. Uh, before I answer, the, uh, I learn uh, what I uh, um, share. What I learned. Let me just yes. uh, share with you how I felt um, regarding the uh, the training. Um, Thank you. you know, yes. I, I started working two months ago, and yes. you know after after, after these presentations. Um, I found out that I was a bit, I was, I almost went on a different direction. But this presentation, you know, um, um, redirected me to the right path. You, right? <laughs> I, 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 I'm, I'm so thankful. I'm so grateful for, for this uh, training. Amen. Amen. That, but, uh, you know, having this high standard of presenters, um, you know, the president of the Samoa Mission, the, the president of the, the China Union, and the president of the TUM, I'm sacrificing yes. Time to come and, and, and train us, man. It really means a lot to me, and I, I, I am so grateful. And I, I thank God uh, for this, uh, uh, for for the privilege I had to attend this uh, training. No, thank you, thank you so much. Yeah, I'm sure you've learned a lot, and like you said, it has redirected you or mm -hmm. sort of reminded you, like what Pastor Liu, uh, Louis has mentioned. What is mm -hmm. one of the highlights that you can share with us today? Um, yes, I, I, I've learned a lot, uh, and I just want to share with you one of the things that I've learned uh, from this uh, from, from this fascinating presentation. Eh? Mm -hmm. uh, one of the things uh, that, uh, that that was that, that stood out for me uh, was this morning, was a presentation this morning by Dyrus, um, the Dyrus. Um He was talking about the uh, author authoritative leadership and mm -hmm. the best way of, um, of, of, his, of to, the, the best way of um, to use authoritative leadership is to become a slave or a servant. And, uh, you know, um, this really hits me because a few weeks ago, I had a little, uh, a little uh, argument with one of the church members. It was because, <laughs> it was because of me. And I, I came okay. to a conclusion it was because of the, the type of leadership I used. I you know I wanted everything to go the way I wanted to, and wanted it to, be, to, to go. And then um, after this presentation, man, it really hits me in the heart. That I had that uh, um, uh, allows me to see a different type of leadership, and he also right. mentioned that this leadership uh, was the type of leadership that Jesus used. And if I can, if we, we can, if we ministers can use this leadership, we can uh, see success in, in mm. our ministry. And I just want to. Mm. That is one of the things that, are, that really stood out for me. Uh, that uh, it's not about um, being authoritative, but it's about uh, yes. becoming a slave, a servant, and serve mm. your members and uh, your flock. And not only that, but um, I also, uh, uh, the, 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 the training that I went through these past two days reminds me how serious uh, mm -hmm. this call is. This is not just a, a red call, this is a call from God. And it also um, encouraged, uh, encourages me not to be afraid in ministry because this work is not my work, but it's mm -hmm. God's work. Thank you very much. Wow, thank you, Fila. We uh, really appreciate uh, you sharing and also uh, your thoughts on how the program went. I, I I really sort of envy these uh, young pastors. They're learning a lot and getting inspired mm. from these uh, very uh, experienced uh, uh, 
uh, trainers and yes. speakers, and I'm sure they are learning a lot. Thank yes. you, Phila, for your contribution to the MET yeah. today. I remember when Phila was a practicum student at Fulton, still studying. Yes. Um, his mentor was, I think, Pastor Lazarus Asinical. Okay. And they came to the union and they prayed for um, each uh, employees here at the union. And we hardly have ministers, young ministers or interns or theology students mm. come and pray for us. Mm. But mm. we have them do that. And I hope you're continuing that in your in your yes. mission, at Tonga Mission. Continue to I'm pray sure for your people. So thank you, Phila, for joining us. And uh, we'll say goodbye to you for now. All the best, Phila. Yeah. And I will, I will have to talk to Phila's uh, supervisor because yes. he has misdirected Phila for the first three months and uh, praise <laughs> the Lord that we have this training that uh, brings okay. Phila to the right direction. Eh? Yeah. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Uh, Thank you. If you look at, uh, at the intents, I think it will be good for us to bring in a supervisor just to hear uh, mm, okay. what from, uh, yes. from the training. Yeah. And we have Pastor Lassa here as a supervisor that is going to join us. Thank ah. you. Bulumina Katata Lassa, thank you for joining us on the mat today. Bulumina and uh, Mary. Hello, Pastor. Yes. Thank you. Thank yeah. you. <laughs> Pastor Lassa Rusa Sedikau is actually uh, my church pastor in my local yes. church. Yes, yes. That's so for both of us, Mary. So proud that he's with us on the mat. <laughs> yes, thank you, Pastor. How has uh, how have you seen this uh, this training in the last uh, two days uh, gone for you? In in light of what Pastor Maveni has shared at the beginning, that this is sort of a first time where the mentor is also part of the training with um, the interns. Uh, the interns. Uh, how have you seen that work out for you? Yeah, thank you, John. And I, I must acknowledge the Pastor Maveni and the TPM mm -hmm. for organizing this for us. Uh, because for me, I'm a mentor, but I, I did not really go through a mentor training. Mm -hmm. okay? uh, and so it was something that you, you just learn by experience. Yes. Over the years and how you can help what has been given uh, under your care to also serve in the field. Mm -hmm. And I'm so grateful for all the training that uh, we've undertaken. I've learned so much as well uh, mm -hmm. from this training. And uh, I'm, I'm really grateful. In particular today, we, I'm thankful to Dr. Rice for talking about mentoring, mm -hmm. uh, the importance of mentoring. And something that uh, really stands out for me was, the, was the, the, the relationship between the mentor and the, the, and the intern. It should be a mutual voluntary relationship mm -hmm. so it was something that was uh that was really helpful and uh, there are a lot of other things that dr Wright uh shared about it which was really uh and i know that if we if i will apply it in the ministry it will help me as a supervisor as well uh mm -hmm. as i continue to help mentor my intern but otherwise yes. overall i i think as a, a wonderful uh, opportunity especially via zoom uh, mm. uh, I think Pastor Kenneth has uh, highlighted that a bit, uh, shared uh, rightfully, yes. because uh, with the current situation we are going through with all this lockdown and uh, the borders and uh, traveling is limited and uh, you know getting people together in a central yes. place, it is mm -hmm. uh, challenging and also it can be costly. But the Lord is yeah. good, has provided this platform where we can still be able to connect and uh, help each other out, especially for this uh, group of ministers, supervisors, and likewise, our interns who are new to the ministry. And so, mm -hmm. yeah, I, I really enjoyed the training uh, overall, and I'm grateful to all the speakers as well, and uh, the input and the contribution that they've made. And I hope it will help us all supervisors who are listening to be better supervisors yes. uh, mm -hmm. to our intern, not just not to lord over them, but to work with them, be an example to them as well. Right, not Which to boss them important. around to go and do their uh, visitation and uh, yeah, and Bible studies. Yeah, <laughs> Pastor, maybe we bring uh, yes, uh, and intern I, as well. And I, very good, Tatalasa. Who, who are you currently uh, mentoring? Uh, Taltala Toma, 
Taltal Toma is uh, currently my intern, yes. Welcome Taltal Toma to the Met. Bulavinaka Taltal Toma. Your, your mic is uh, muted. Thank you. Oh yeah, sorry. Thank you, thank you, John and Mary. The, your map is very warm, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> thank you for joining us. Yes, um, it's good to have both of you, mentor and intern. And, and like uh, we have, uh, Pastor Marvin has mentioned earlier, this is uh, you know the ad, sort of the advantage of using Zoom and technology where you guys can both attend at the same time and uh, we thank you for um, being on the mat here with us today, yes. Just before we ask uh, Tata Toma, uh, one of the highlights that he has learned during the two days, uh, since you're both here, I just wanted to ask you, what is something different that you've learned that you will now practice after the training hmm. together as a mentor and an intern? What is something different that you've learned that you will continue to practice? Or that you want to change in the mentoring ship and intern? Uh, maybe, maybe I go first. Okay. Yes, maybe I go yes. First. Um, yeah. Um, this is my second year intern. Mm -hmm. And uh, so I'm hearing that uh, my mentor, this is the first time for him too. So we are both new at this. And uh, we, we praise God for the training. Mm -hmm. And uh, for me, uh, what, uh, what we would like to see that we can make a difference together is um, is uh, we, we we have almost all the time we meet I meet with Tal every week mm. and now we're hearing in the training that we're supposed to have a weekly meeting and stuff like that oh, okay so, uh, yeah, and there are some other advices that are given in the training uh, that we would like to take take on board but mm. uh, bes 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 beside uh, beside all the things that we we have been doing this is like a, a new growth for yes for for, for me personally, and mm. I'm sure my mentor uh, will see how he comes in into the process and helps me helps guide me to towards uh, uh, growth and development. Yeah, mm. Mm. thank you. That's great. Tata Lasse, you want to add on to that? Yeah, and I think uh, the training uh, this last today reminded us that it's more than just ticking the box mm. because our interns have a manual that they have to work with so throughout this two days right. training uh, it is really uh, help us as supervisors to it's more than just trying to tick those boxes but it is uh, how we can really help uh, our intern to uh, with regard to history and how they can be better ministers uh, for the lord uh, like what our previous presenters, our, our I mean, guests have said uh, that, uh, you know, the, that they have uh, highlighted about the, the importance of our calling, that it is not, uh, yes. not just an ordinary work, it's a higher calling. Yes. And so uh, I believe uh, throughout this uh, today's foreign, uh, uh, training, it has really reaffirmed again uh, Amen. Uh, that thought uh, we can uh, better help each other. Uh, mm -hmm. Uh, to better our ministry, and I'm I'm grateful as well because something has been highlighted, and that is uh, you know I'm I'm not only mentoring and being the example to Tal Tal Toma, but Tal Tal Toma as well with his uh, wealth of experience as well. Uh, yes. We are learning from each other as we go along, so I, I'm really happy for, for the relationship that we have and how we are supporting each other and helping each other out. Uh, uh, in this uh, mentoring or supervising uh, mm. work. Yeah. Thank you, Tal Talasa, and uh, thank you, Tal Toma, for uh, you know sharing with us uh, today on the mat. Um, uh, we are encouraged to know that uh, the relationship uh, between internship and uh, or intern and uh, mentor it has to be one that is uh, a strong, has, you know, a strong bond. And I'm sure that uh, going forward, a lot of our pastors uh, will take this on board and uh, help their ministry, uh, both for the mentor and also the intern. Talatoma, would you like to and add on? To Sorry, Brother John, just one final word before yes, Toma. Yes, 
I think, uh, yeah, Dr. David really, really helped us out today mm. with the, the mindset of, uh, of a leader in the church, eh? of, uh, mm. talking about uh, authority, authoritative leaders in the church. And uh, what is the mindset of a leader in the church? It is different from the way the world uh, uh, defines it. Eh? And so he talked about uh, being a slave and a servant. Right. To, to lead and to become, to have that mentality of being a slave. And yes. a slave does not have any honor, does not have any credit. He does not, uh, uh, he, there's nothing that, that goes to the servant when he serves. So for me as a provider and as a leader, I have to have that mentality. Okay? It's not about me, it's about God. It's about helping my intern, helping my members to become better uh, uh, members and better disciples for the Lord. Thank you, Tom. Thank you. Thank you, Tom. Yeah, um, very short, your highlight. <laughs> yeah, highlight is, uh, Pastor Diary said it like this, uh, the higher you go, it means there is the lower you go. And uh, uh, what he's trying to say is, the, the way pastors see themselves and we as uh, when in Fulton see ourselves like tal -tala, and all this stuff right right you should be actually under there and uh, I like that part that's the highlight for me it's Thank you so much. It's just going down going lower praise the Lord servant leadership servant leadership Thank Amen. you for joining us, Taltala Lasarusa and uh, Tal -tal Toma. It's good to have you. We'll see you again soon. Thank you. Goodbye. Uh -huh. yeah. Pastor Maveni, who do we have next uh, that you've got? Uh, we are still here in Fiji. Why don't we have been in Viti Levu? We've crossed over to Vanua Levu to Father Manoa. Okay. Yes, we have uh, Tal Tal Manoa. Bulubina Katala. Bulubina Katala. Uh, <laughs> from amen amen Hope you still have enough battery to stay online <laughs> yes yes pastor just very briefly um how how have you seen this training uh to benefit your ministry there in Vonolevu? you might be uh, you know sometimes in a remote places um how have you seen this training uh to benefit and probably uh, help you in uh, your line of work especially in the rural areas uh, th thank you uh, john and uh, mary and pastor Moveni. i think the first uh, day i spent my zoom training up in the hills of ndongotuki and I I had to leave home at uh, five o'clock in the morning uh, wow. to that particular place and uh, it was a new environment for me Mm. We have outside, mm. and as I was traveling that morning, I was asking the question, why I'm doing this? And, okay. I, and I believe, and I thank God, it's God's calling uh, mm. for my life and my family. But mm. uh, it doesn't it's stop got you me. out of your comfort zone, eh? Yes. I think I, I always uh, stay around in a city area, but in right. kind of remote place, it's like yes. uh, giving me a challenge in the ministry. Praise uh, the Lord. It doesn't stop me to go up there Amen. Uh, Amen. to get a co connection, uh, mm. to, to connect with other uh, brothers who are doing uh, mm -hmm. LinkedIn and also our supervisors and our mm. facilitators for these two days of training. Mm. And uh, yesterday I decided to leave. This morning I decided to leave early in the morning. Okay. To come down to Mombasa so I can go, uh, get a good uh, reception of. Oh, uh, wow. So I'm in Mombasa with my supervisor, Seni Tikiwanga. Praise oh, the Lord. Thank say you. hello to Pastor Seni Tiki for us. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Pastor, John, what is. Yeah, your question. John, on, that, on that note, uh, you asked me earlier about how this training is, will mm. help mm. In the ministry. Yes. Uh, I thank uh, the TPU for this particular program on the mat. Mm. And I know in the Pacific Island, uh, ladies, uh, they know how to weave, uh, weave a mat. Yes. And in order to have a strong mat, Amen. a starting point is very important. Ah. And I believe 
the very wise. Uh, yes. These two years is a very important to us in turn. Mm -hmm. And that's Amen. what I learned. Uh, not to take it lightly, to take it seriously. Yes. Whether that's I make it point. in these two years. Mm. Mm, very powerful. That's Thank amazing. you. Very yeah. creative how you link on the mat and your role as an intern. Very true. The starting point has to be strong. Very a strong important. foundation will carry you forward. Eh? Amen. Yes. Amen. So any uh, last highlight uh, maybe that you would like to share over the last two days um, that you have learned? Uh, thank you. I... I would like to quote from uh, our, one of our presenters, mm. uh, Pastor Darius. He said in one of his presentations, he said that uh, true Christian is not about status. It's not about position. It's mm. about being a slave for Christ. And mm -hmm. connect with authority. You come into the church, you are a slave. You are a servant for God. Mm -hmm. uh, you got to provide service to the people. And mm -hmm. I think my my supervisor uh, and my teammate in the north do pray for mm -hmm. us. Uh, we have three yes. intent. One have to travel early hours in the morning from Rambi across uh, the sea of um, Buda Bay, right up mm -hmm. to Botswana to meet up with uh, his uh, supervisor, and another one from the the coast of Wainunu to travel yes. by bus up to Mbua to meet up with his uh, uh, his uh, uh, supervisor. Mm, and mm, mm. Uh, we are so thankful that uh, that God has uh, provided this platform, this training, and it has, yes. uh, it has helped us. And lastly, Brother John, yes. uh, I'd like to share what I have learned. And I, this was one of the main interesting uh, part of this training, and that is the grow, grow process. I just love mm. the grow process, whereby G, you, you, the goal, the R is the reality, opportunity, and work. And I wow. love how he puts it. It starts with reality. Uh, mm -hmm. I need to ask the question of what is my current situation? As mm -hmm. for me, as a, as a disciple in training, or yeah, I can call that disciple in training, mm -hmm. and my mentor, uh, what is the current situation? And what are my goals? So what are, what are the goals that I, I want to achieve in Dongotuki, in Kendra? And what are right. other opportunities, op options to do? And... And the third uh, and the fourth one was work. What do you want to work on? So I think uh, interesting uh, I'm of any for, for providing this training. Uh, it has helped us and teach us to take these two years in ten uh, seriously. Okay. Thank, you. Mm. Thank you so much, uh, Taltal Mano. We uh, will be praying for you, especially the challenges that you face in the rural uh, areas uh, up in Thank the north, um, and also the other interns that. Mm. Uh, uh, you have there in uh, Ponolio. Pass our regards to the church members and also yes. to your mentors, Pastor Sentiki. Yes. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Good afternoon. Naka. Naka. Okay. Uh, then we have uh, the last one from uh, Samoa Mission. Uh, okay. Brother Evenda Toy Five, I think. Mm. Hello. 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 I'm good, thanks. Thank you. Sorry for we, you were in the line, uh, a long line waiting. Uh, you are the last, but, but not the least. I'm sure you uh, uh, have a lot to share. But uh, for, for, I mean, for your, uh, it's been a while, so it's good yes. to own the few minutes at this time. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I think uh, we'll give you all the time to uh, share because I know you've got a long list of things that uh, you've learned throughout uh, yeah. the two days. So These two <laughs> days is kind of blessing to, to me as an uh, intern uh, minister to start up the work for God. And mm -hmm. these two days, I learned a lot. And the first thing that I want to, to quote uh, this afternoon is that I just found out today the importance of the relationship of the mentor and the intern. Mm. There's a saying that uh, was said in this uh, seminar is that a mentor needs to pu push the the intern to a higher level. So, mm -hmm. and then I told uh, my mentor this afternoon, if I fail, then I will blame you. It's your fault if I fail. Uh, 
two years. That's a good way of putting it, Pastor. That's a very good way. I think. Uh, yes. In these two years, then that means it's your fault, my mentor. So and then I found out that working together with a mentor, it's a two-way street. And there's a saying that uh, we we put in mind that first thing that uh, uh, intern should do, you need to observe. You need to observe. observe. Then right. um, the mentor will do, and I see. And then the second one, I do, and then the mentor will observe. And the third one, we do it together. And then the fourth one, I will go and do my own. So, <laughs> but this time, some of the things I already do it by myself without uh, observing my mentor. So I yes. told my mentor, you need uh, to come work together with me. So throughout this, uh, the remainder of the first uh, six months, I will be able to observe my mentor in order for me to do what he is doing uh, Thank throughout you. that time. And one of the things that I want uh, that I want to uh, share yes. is the three main core function of ministry. There are many functions for the ministry, the pastor ministry, but there's mm -hmm. a three main core function. First thing that our pastors need to do visitation. Mm. Need to do visitation. Because the more you visit your people, the church members, the more relate, the more close your relationship will become. And then mm -hmm. the second thing is that Bible study. Bible mm -hmm. studies will open a way for people to make a decision in order for them to accept Christ in their life. And lastly, you need to preach more sermons. You need to <laughs> preach a lot. Because people, the church members will judge you and evaluate you by the way you preach and the message that you are presenting from the Bible. Even though you hold a higher uh, certificate, but the church members will judge you by the way mm -hmm. you preach. And this uh, seminar is encouraging us to preach more sermons and watch others' uh, people's sermons, other ministers' uh, sermons on YouTube in order yes. for us to equip ourselves to prepare our sermons. So to date. Uh, some you. of the things that uh, we have learned. <clears throat> Thank you, Pastor, and uh, that was very interesting. Yes. Because the more you present, the more you do a lot of sermons, the better you become. The better yes. your deliverance, the better you are able to engage your audience, your yes. church members, get them involved. And not just by deliverance, you actually persuade your audience yes. that God is real and yes. he's alive. So that is a good thing. The more sermons they give you, take it as a good thing, the better you become. Pastor, can I ask who is your mentor? Uh, my mentor is uh, Pastor Oliver Dean. It's our oh, original. Okay. Yeah. I hope he's not there in the same room with you right now. He might give you an F. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's good to know. Please uh, pass our hellos to him. And uh, we hope that uh, that relationship and your bond will continue to grow and develop to make, uh, to make you a better pastor and also serve your people in some yeah. more better. Yes, thank you so much for, you for, for being with us on the mat. Okay, have a pleasant afternoon. You too, thank you. Pastor, that is so uh, interesting to see and to join, uh, you know, bring in uh, our, our young pastors from all around the Pacific, uh, especially in the Trans-Pacific, yeah. and yeah. Uh, to have them all in one place. Uh, we praise the Lord for, for this program and... Uh, for having everyone mm. available to be attending. Thank you. Yeah. So now we know this uh, internship program is a success. A lot of yeah. them are coding, they're listening, mm. they, uh, they have taken notes down on how to better improve uh, their learning as they become uh, uh, pastors in the near future. Mm. So thank yeah. you, Pastor Maveni and your team and those that uh, presented I did presentation. We thank them for their time, mm. this, uh, uh, taking taking out their time to join us for the two whole days, yes. just um, uh, teaching our young. That's ministers. right. That's right. We'd like to thank all those two who have joined us on the mat uh, this afternoon. Uh, you know, from all the countries uh, joining in, uh, like we heard from uh, Pastor Manoa, some of mm. them sacrificed to. Mm be at a certain location with uh, good internet and uh, mm. available, uh, you know, uh, uh, avail their time to yes. be with us on the mat. Pastor, any uh, last uh, thoughts that you have that you would like to share before? We will ask you to close uh, with a word of prayer 
for mm. our young pastors and interns, also their mentors uh, throughout the Trans-Pacific Union. Yeah. I am just happy to hear what everyone is saying and uh, I just confirm what I said earlier on. I believe that it was a successful program. Mm. I believe that the Lord's uh, spirit was present there in our, in our program. Um, the last thing that I would like to see happen is COVID-19 stopping us from moving God's work forward. Yes. Yes. Uh, what I'm able to see in here is that everybody can feel that we need each other in this work here. We are mm -hmm. here to support each other. And our mm -hmm. role in the union is to do the training and facilitate everything that we can do to make sure that we have good people to lead out our work in the local church, in mm -hmm. our local and then I, I'm so happy to see these young workers uh, uh, well inspired to go out and do better work for the Lord. And I mm. praise the Lord for their supervisors too, that mm. they were there for the training to support our work. We are here for God's business and mm -hmm. we want to do what is best for God's business. God's business is serious. His coming is very, very soon. Yes. And we must make sure that we are on board. We are up to date with whatever technology, whatever it is in there, so that we can finish God's work so Christ mm -hmm. can be able to come back. Let me pray. Father, we just thank you, Lord, for being with us in our training program. Mm -hmm. What we have uh, heard, the uh, Lord, that uh, our people, Lord, were blessed by it. And now, mm -hmm. Lord, as they go back to their local church and uh, continue on with your work, I pray, Lord, for special uh, blessings upon them. Bless our interns, bless our supervisors, Lord, that they will go shoulder to shoulder, support mm. each other in moving your work forward, Lord. Bless every one of us who are listening to this program. May mm. we also give our lives for your, for your work. Mm. And we place our life in your hands, Lord, that you will use us to finish your work in this world so that you will come back, Lord, and take us to that everlasting home that you are preparing for us. Mm. That is our humble prayer in Jesus' wonderful name. Amen. 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 Thank you so much, Pastor. Thank you for uh, organizing uh, this uh, program in regards to bringing on all the young pastors today. Mm -hmm. And we thank uh, all those who, yes. you know, who joined us we and watched right through our viewers. Right. We all... have people from Samoa, even from Washington yes. um, State. So we thank you all around the Pacific and the world. Us. Thank you so much for joining us, and we hope to see you again next week. Mm. Yes, and thank, thank you for you. allowing us to be on your program. Thank you. Every time. Thank you, Pasta. <laughs> thank you. Bye, everybody. Bye, everybody. Thank you.